YouTube. Don't forget to hit that bottom button and subscribe to your girl, Jahaira Maravilla. I repeat, don't forget to hit that bottom button right there, yes, right there, and subscribe to your girl, Jahaira Maravilla. I just love, 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 love coming on here with Jah. <laughs> Y'all already know what time it is. We have so much to get into in reference to Kanye, hearing, and then coming back married on us with a blonde. Okay, I guess he's not into, <laughs> he's not into that Kim Kardashian bounce two. He's into bounce three now. And also, we have so much to talk about, especially women empowerment when it comes down to you, Fabulous, and Emily B. You guys know that they broke up and Fabulous done, done did too much to this lady. And including allegedly knocking her teeth out. So we have a lot of issues to get into today. We're going to be doing us and just getting into the facts and knowing that we have to respect one another's space. So remember down in the comments below, make sure to be nice to everyone and including me. And I'm going to be nice to you guys because you guys are my what? Babies. Okay. And I will love you guys forever. But remember, it's all about respect kindness and 2023 yes it's finally here i decided to go a little bit light on the makeup and you know this blonde look just for you guys let me know what you guys think about it down below and we'll get right into all of the tea okay you guys are here on jahara maravilla tv don't forget to hit that bottom button and subscribe to your girl jahara maravilla i love you guys so really much i wouldn't tell somebody true but it is true so i love you guys don't forget to subscribe to your girl and stay in tune for what i have to say okay i love you guys Do we start with Kanye? Do we start? As a matter of fact, we're gonna start with you, Fabulous. Like Emily B and Fabulous have always had like such a beautiful relationship, but it's sad to say that Fabulous is out of control. It's, it's, it's like a situation where the man thinks that he owns the woman, which you do not. You're in a relationship equally. That means you have to respect each other equally, especially when you have ch children from these women. You have to respect and love them, not show these women and their children that what you hate their mom or something i just feel so bad and i'm so upset i'm about to go on a rant on fabulous and it's all due to the fact that i've always known fabulous to like really be mean to emily like for no reason and now you just knock the tooth out to them her father impressed you and you're still going at it let it go it comes a point in life where you have to grow from the situation that you're in and if it's not good for you and it's clearly not because you always have had a thing for putting your hands on Emily and I hate that because Emily B is the sweetest girl that I have known in this industry. I remember her putting me on to the Rockin' That Thing video and it was all due to the fact that Fabulous was actually flirting with one of the girls and she felt very comfortable with my vibe because she knew I was not gonna disrespect her, you know, in her space and she really, it's a sweet girl like why would you treat your baby mother like this that's sad fabulous and i'm very disappointed with you i just don't understand how men can do this to their females when you put your hands on them no enough is enough and i'm just happy that emily decided to let your ass go and then taina on top of that to add injury to insult then corrected you and let you know like you know you're not the one that everyone thinks you are you're actually a woman abuser and i hate men that put their hands on females i don't like to be in people's business but hello we have to report the tea and this is not even tea this is something serious 
Feminicide in this world is serious and men really need to get their acts together. Especially when you're a celebrity and you have two children with these two, I think it's three beautiful children with this woman. She had Taino when she was young, I know that much. But uh, the other children are from fabulous and it's like, he's sitting there mistreating their mom. What do you think, does these babies don't see what you're doing to their mother? And I'm just glad that she was able to just say, you know what? I'm done with your ass because you do not deserve me. But that's far from the point. The point is that you need to get yourself together, fabulous. Because if you would have found yourself with a Dominican like me, you would have been getting your ass handed to you, okay? But let's start with our positive vibes and move on to the next category. I have so much to tell you guys and you guys are gonna be crazy about the next thing that I have to tell you guys. It's crazy. <laughs> It is moving on to Kanye. I'm so happy for you. Yay! Yay, don't stack Kim Kardashian straight to the point. <laughs> she got rid of the long wig. That's up to her. But I'm just happy for Ye because he actually deserves to be happy. Like, come on, girl. You wasn't making him happy. You was with Skeet, aka Heron, David Sam, whatever the hell his name is. He's not even that funny. I don't understand that. But that's on them. She would she done play Kanye left and right. And Kanye was disappeared. A lot of people were worried about him. But he's Bazak and he's back with a red ring on, okay? And he's actually married to one of his like these women the people that design for him. I don't know what she exactly does, but she is very independent, very beautiful. She doesn't look like him. She's totally opposite from what I hear. And TMZ don't said no because this relationship is not legal because they didn't get married in the US. Yes, it is legal. Wherever you go, they just have to come and report it here to the US. But they are married and Kanye is actually wearing his wedding ring right here. So you guys already know that he's happy. Right now he's in a good place. And a lot of things that Kanye said, yeah, they were disrespectful, but it depends on who is telling you how you, you look at it, okay? Because you have to respect each and everyone's freedom of speech. I always say it, there's hate speech, there's freedom of speech, but I get to get about the mundo. Like Kanye is going through his process because he really felt like Kim Kardashian and her family was trying to set him up, which they were, if you look at the interviews and the conversations that he was having, yes, he was wrong for what he did, but he is a human being. Like, we're gonna move on past this, but Kanye needs to learn how to pick and choose his battles. If you know that these people don't run Hollywood, why would you sit there and talk garbage about them? And I'm just so happy for him though. Overall, him finding love after everything that he's been through with him, okay? She gives him my goddamn nerves. Her and her family trying to 730 his ass. He calls it 505. I don't know what that means. But, and I guess Hollywood language is 730. They were trying to 730 his ass. And that's not the way to go, Kim. And that's why you're losing. And you're losing a baby father, a father of four, okay? But you lost him. So on to the next one. He done bounced too with your ass. And now he's the next blonde chick to the point where Kim done blood dyed her hair black again, okay? Blonde is in fashion. Black is out for this week because I'll be back with the black. But for now, we're doing blonde in celebration of Kanye's happiness because he's lost so much this year and he's lost so much in like that I deserve to give Kanye another chance on this channel because he's Kanye. I guess Kanye said new year, new me like me. Hello, we have to move on and be happy. It's so sad because they do have their children in between the situation. But, like, she trying to pay him on, you know, like, TikTok with her, her own daughter at that. So, Kimberly, you are going low. How low can you go? How low can Kimberly go? And I guess she could go lower than a lot of people. And it's sad because she really had Northwest out here mocking her father. And you don't play games like that. You don't, you don't do that to people, Kimberly. Especially if you're claiming that they're 730 or that, this, that they have problems. You should be getting it yourself some help right about now. You were crying to him and you were all over him when he was so successful. Now, it's so funny how the Kardashians do it up and they give it up to their man. Look at Chloe, for instance. Like, he has such 
Tristan. Now we're talking about Tristan. You guys know that I jump around, but we're gonna jump into the main conclusions. You guys know like Tristan Thompson's mom, may she rest in peace. She just recently passed away. You guys know how Jamaicans are about their family members, and it's all about you know like showing love to the you know the people that have passed on and respect to their ancestors and you know they take it really seriously kardashians always think the kardashian jenna crew always think that everything is business no not everything is business it's to show you why he doesn't respect you Claude, because now you want to take hulu with you you want to pay for the no you know that he doesn't need you he wants she wants him to pay for the, she wants to pay for the funeral he doesn't need you to pay for the funeral. He wants you to support him. But it's clear that you guys are always out here with a second, third, third, fourth, fifth plan for someone. And you're just planning on yourself because Tristan is actually enjoying his time with his baby mother, okay, right now. And they're both Jamaican. They made a beautiful Jamaican baby. And she is a natural one, okay? And Chloe, you're looking older and older and old like OJ by the day and i hope that hurts you because what she is doing to tristan in this situation is very petty especially when it comes to his mom you should have a little bit more respect for him knowing what you went through with your father and you have people that you passed passed away and now as for your family we have to talk about rob kardashian guys rob kardashian seems to be in a lot of trouble and you guys are not looking where you guys need to be looking in is inside of your own circle with your family and getting rob the help that he needs that's gonna save a hoe captain save a hoe is not here okay girl you guys guys need to get it together for real or forget it forever because this is too much i can't take it with the possessions anymore i'm just over them and with other news on further topics, Shakira and Carol G are finally collaborating. We all know that allegedly Shakira had played Carol G at one point. Don't mind my eyelashes, it's coming off again. Like I always tell you guys, we all know that Shakira had allegedly like tried to play um, Carol G, but right now I hear that she's a little bit under with cash. And it's all due to the fact that she got paid by her man, etc, etc. But I'm just happy that these two are finally collaborating because it's two beautiful Colombian queens showing us what they're all about. And you guys already know that Colombians are so sexy and fly. I'm just wondering what these girls are going to move in for us for the new years. It was allegedly stated that Shakira is recording with Carol G. And Carol G is so happy because... Carol G had already reached out to her several times and Shakira kindly denied until now that she needs the money because her baby daddy decided to leave her at her in-laws and try to leave her with that. No baby, that's Shakira. She done bounced back within a song with Osuna, okay? And she is actually really doing her thing right now where she's just on her own. She's trying to you know, build herself back up. But Shakira got that body and that that voice that she, I don't know, she's gonna be timeless. Just like our baby girl Carol G. Because I love Carol G's music and imagine it and just blending it in with uh, hello, our girlfriend Shakira. I just know they're gonna do uh, the best collaboration and they deserve it because girls we need to support one another especially when times are going rough it's when you see who are the true people that deserve to be in your life it's not all about laughing having fun it's all about who is truly there for you when you need them it constantly happens with celebrities where they're always there for everyone else but when they need somebody and a shoulder to cry on who is actually there for them and I'm just happy that Shakira can find you know comfort in knowing that Carol G still has the offer on the table and that she's willing to record with her no matter what and you know Carol G has that beautiful energy that beautiful vibe and there's a video circulating where um hello they're basically saying that um Shakira and Carol G are recording so we're looking forward to this video because hello this video is gonna make the whole world dance not only Colombia but the whole world dance and I'm just so happy to finally see these two collaborating because it's just perfection waiting to happen I don't know let me know what you guys think because I'm so excited yes Shakira and 
Carol G are doing it. Doing it, doing it, doing it, yeah. And there's just so many whack ass guys out here. Like that little teeny pop of blue face that knocked his girlfriend's teeth out. Like girls, money is not everything. You can get yourself your own degree, get your own career and keep it pushing. Don't settle for these men that are gonna stay here and make you feel like you're worthless when you're not. A woman is a delicate flower. Like where does it come into context? That a man is allowed to put their hands on the, 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 the woman. I hate this shit. Like, this shit just gets me so mad. Like, it boils me up to the point that, fabulous, if you want to hit a man, a woman, go fight your, get, get, go and fight Mayweather so he can knock your ass down. Because men like that, they are straight buns. They don't hit men. They only like to hit women that know that the woman is doesn't have the strength to leave you but finally emily is sick and tired of your ass and i'm happy that she is gonna leave your ass okay and that she don't left your ass to the point where you gotta sit here and be a bitch ass and be writing messages on the internet uh -uh, the internet is the internet okay real life is real life fabulous and you need to grow up you're like 105 years old in the rap game and i just feel like all this hitting women stuff uh-uh that shit is a so whack and it's such a turn off and i see that other little teeny bopper what's his name blue face i don't even like this kid because he didn't have women fighting for him already and then now he has that little girl after him constantly going after him for what? When you're gonna spend time with your baby mother and play the shit her. That's why a lot of these women, maybe some of them, they they asking for it because if you know that he doesn't respect you, if you know that he's putting his hands on you, if you know that he's hurting you, why continue to be in this toxic ass situation? Sometimes, a veces muere que se lo buscan, pero no. Putting your hands on them is not the right thing. And with that being said, I'm gonna let you guys go because this conversation right here I had to have with you guys, but it makes me feel bad because every woman deserves to get treated like the queen that she is, especially when she's having your children, when she's having your back, okay? You guys need to understand as men, we go through enough and we tolerate enough, but we're not a punching bag. We're not here for you guys to be disrespecting your, 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 yourselves and us. Like, we're here to be loved and we're here to love one another. But if you don't love me, I'm not going to love you back. Nuh-uh, baby boy. No, we, we're not doing those, okay? We're not doing that one ever, okay? And I'm glad that Emily left your ass. And now you want to go to the internet? So what else do we have to talk about? Let's talk about women empowering each other i'm just so happy that mlab finally has woken up and smelled the coffee especially after this man i love fabulous as a person but nowadays i'm not feeling his vibe him putting his hands on emily is enough is enough is enough go find yourself a punching bag or go find yourself a man that can actually hit you the fuck back excuse the language and excuse my french but you putting your hands on this woman that has been there for you through thick and thin that you guys raised her daughter with and her father hubby and father hattie has always been around and no matter what your pet baby that is all going to be around but she, him and fabulous brought Taina up and for Taina to blow him the fuck up the way that she did is because she's tired of seeing her mom being violated by Fabulous and you need to stop that. You don't knock the teeth out if you done done disrespect to her father. You don't take it there Fabulous and it's time to let it go now. He's threatening her on the internet and I'm not feeling that because at the end of the day you have to respect a woman. You came from a woman and you need to respect them especially the mother of your children, fabulous. You should look at yourself in the mirror and see that you are going to become one of those husbands that don't have shit because of the fact that Enemy you spotted. are a poor choice in men. I hate when men think that they can put their hands on females. A female is a female. You have to respect. There's totally different energies there. And why don't you just go knock a man out and let's see who's going to get fucked up in this situation. It'll probably be the man that decides to put their hands on a female because hello how dare you violate her like that and you have done it in the past and you have 
done it in the present and now you're taking it to the point that you're threatening her through the internet you internet gangster now not that Harry was ever gangster <laughs> but he's actually taking it there and these messages that he's writing her like yo write me a message so i can show you a woman that fights fucking back don't disrespect Emily. Emily's a sweetheart. Emily's just the, I uh, mean, she just has loved you forever. And I guess finally she has woken up and smelled the roses, okay? And the, and the grass is always greener on the other side, especially when you're a wonderful woman that deserves your respect fabulous and that woman has been nothing but kind to you or circles you what have you done cheated on her hit her father broken her teeth um violated her daughter and her daughter done violated her ass right back because no daughter wants to see their mother suffering especially with such a great mother the way that emily has been to taina and your I'm not gonna lie, there is bad women out here that give us a bad name, like Kimberly, but look, overall, Fabulous respects Kimberly. Fabulous try to honor her. She's the one that played herself. Remember, you guys, my fucking hair all messed up. I'm so mad about the situation. She's the one that paid herself. She's the one that decided to go out there with Skeet Davidson, and he moved on. So I'm so happy for him moving on and being positive and marrying the girl that he wants to be with because everyone's trying to find love. But remember, guys, find love with people that actually love you and overall respect you because without respect, you cannot love someone. I'd rather a person love love me and honor me, and honor me, you know, and respect me because that comes all with the package. It comes with one and other. And I love you guys. And thank you guys for tuning in with your girl. You guys are here on Jahira Maravilla TV. Don't forget to hit that bottom button and subscribe to your girl, Jahira Maravilla. Thank you guys for tuning in. I love you guys so very much. And I love my wig today. It looks cute, right? Mm, 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 mm. I feel brand new and that's what you're supposed to feel. You're supposed to feel happy. You're supposed to be happy about life. But when you have somebody constantly harassing you or trying to hurt you, call the proper authorities on their ass. Fuck all that bullshit, snitching. No, you put your hands on me, bro. It is on. I'm going to call um, my cousins up on here, <laughs> up on this bitch. Or I'm going to call the proper authorities. A simple number, 911. One, okay? Or call on me and I'll go over and whip his ass for you because you are too beautiful and you've been too kind to this man. And as for you, Kanye, I'm so happy for you, okay? He got his blonde bombshell over here. So as you can see, we it's all about balance and balancing each other out and taking care of one another is what counts in everything. Loving and taking care of one another is what makes a relationship strong beautiful and about what it's supposed to be about love not disrespect not people knocking your teeth out not none of that it's supposed to be about respect i love you guys thank you guys for tuning in with your girl you guys are here on your heart via tv don't forget to hit that bottom button and subscribe to who your girl, the Hyra Maravilla. I love you guys very much. Thank you guys for tuning in. I know this was a type of subject that is hard to get around, but we have to get around the hard subjects in life because we need to be aware. Sometimes you don't know who to talk to, and you may be the stranger like me that is ready to go knock on that man's door and whip his ass with a bat. <laughs> I love you guys so very much. Thank you guys for tuning in with your girl. Mwah. I love you guys. Exposed. Exposed. Exposed, 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 exposed